In this short video I'm going to show you how to create roles and users on a Raritan PDU using the JSON RPC SDK. So let's get started. First of all I'm going to log into a Raritan PDU. It's called PX2 Study. I'm going to log in as the built-in administrative user admin. And if I look at the user management, we've only got a couple of users. We've got the built-in admin user and my user ID, Andy C. And roles, we've got the built-in admin role and operator role, much as you'd see on a PDU that had recently been deployed. Now, I need to set up a number of custom roles and a whole bunch of users on this. Now, I could use the web interface uh, by adding a role giving it a name, setting each of the permissions, and then once they've done that, go in and add the users using the web interface, putting in their username, uh, an initial password, any other details, their SSH public key, which is quite a long piece of text to put in. However, what I'm going to use is a program, there are a couple of scripts which I've written, which will add the roles and users for me. So I'm just switching over to Putty Session, we're going to run a command which runs other scripts. This is adding the roles. It's now it's already done the roles. It's now adding in the users. So we can see that we've got some usernames being added here. This takes a little while, but it's way faster than doing it through the interface, and it's also much more accurate. So just a short pause. Now the Raritan JSON RPC tools are freely available on the Raritan website. Um, they've got bindings for Python, Java and Perl and they may well add other bindings as well uh, which means if you know a bit of Python, which I do, I've been able to write these programs in Python to actually affect this. Now that didn't take that long, literally a matter of seconds. If we now go back onto the Raritan PDU if I now click on the user management, um, whereas before we had two users defined, we've now got a whole range of users defined here. So in addition to the admin and Andy C user that were there before, we've got lots of other users here. This is all just test data. You probably recognize some of these famous names here. Uh, so let's pick one of these out. Um, let's look at Ernest Rutherford. So we've got his username, the full name, uh, phone number. That's not his real phone number. This is just made up. Uh, as well as the uh, email address as well. But this is just demonstrating the fact that these details can be added in. So it's not just a case of creating a user. We can also set up attributes of the user as well. Quite a useful feature here. We've got the, um, the user's public key. So if we go to the end there. Just make a little note of the end there. We've got V8YP at the end. Let's go back and pick a different user just so it can be demonstrated that it's not just the same details being added in for every user. Let's look at Isaac Newton down here. So again, username, full name, different phone number, different email address. And if we go to the end of the public key, we can see that the key is actually different at the end there. It was VY something or other. It's now something completely different. Uh, if you also scroll down, we can see that they've already been put into the various roles which have been defined for them. And that takes us on to the roles as well. If we have a quick look there, we can see that we've added in some extra roles here. So firmware and warm start operator, SNMP, let's pick one of these ones out. So user management role. So we've got the name, the description. And the user management role has basically got these three permissions, or privileges rather, change local user management, change your password, that's just in there for completeness, and view local, local user management. So users that have been granted that role will be able to set up new users or modify existing users. But really the purpose of this very quick demonstration is to show that you can create very quickly a number of roles and users on a Raritan PDU. What you can also do, because you can do it on one PDU, the script can be 
rerun to point to a different PDU and those users could be set up on a second PDU or a third or a fourth or a fifth. Uh, so if you've got a lot of users to deploy on a lot of PDUs, this is the way to do it because if you do it through the web interface individually, uh, clicking, cutting, pasting, it's going to take a long time and with the best one in the world, errors are going to creep in. It really shows the power of the of the JSON RPC software that Rarotan have provided. They provide it for free, which is very good. I suggest that you have a look at it. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch, drop me an email, and I'll certainly be available to help you take the first steps with it. Okay, thank you for listening.